This meeting is being recorded. <laughs> Hello and good evening to Mark Doherty. How are you today? Yeah, very well. Thank you, Ruben. Thanks for having me on. Uh, thank you for uh, letting me interview you this evening on Johnston Sound. Um, can you tell me um, how long have you been a musician and singer for? Uh, well, I've been playing music in one form or another, uh, kind of since I was 11, uh, when I first got into a band, uh, first band Lost and Found, shout out, uh, in which we played uh, The Darkness, I believe in a thing called Love in Assembly, that was my first kind of exposure to music, and not long after that, I think the movie School of Rock came out, which, uh, yeah, really inspired me to like write my own songs, and then I got into Nirvana and David Bowie and Jack White and that, and then, yeah, I've been doing it ever since. <laughs> Uh, can you tell me more about your uh, current single, uh, Reckless Abandon? Yeah, so Reckless Abandon is the title track from my uh, debut album. It's um, a cathartic release designed to inspire you to be in the moment, stop worrying and enjoy life. It was uh, written after a pretty hard battle with depression. Uh, it was a realisation of all that's good in my life. I just yeah need to embrace life and be present uh yeah it's my hope that in, in the song kind of inspires people to realize the same and yeah um i've uh, also done a video for this in which the fabulous grace jones not that one my friend grace um did some amazing choreography and my other friend maddie otherwise known as linear shot it and made it look really professional uh yeah so really excited about that check it out on youtube <laughs> So, uh, can you tell me more about your debut album, um, mm. Reckless Abandon? Yeah, yeah. So um, it came about just kind of at the tail end of the pandemic. I was just kind of like, what, you know, my I'd relocated, uh, my band had broken up. Everyone was kind of out of sorts with the world. So I decided, you know what, I can still make music. I could do it on my own. Why not? Let's make an album. And I really wanted to make kind of a, a statement to make an album and not like an EP, not just a single, because I find what happens and what's happened in bands before is you get the momentum up, you release an EP, then you go away, you get the momentum up, release an EP. Whereas I really wanted a focused piece of work. And personally, as a music consumer, I don't really listen to EPs. I listen to albums. I would like to, you know, borrow a glass of red wine, put an album on, and that's my night. I, I wanted people to be able to do that with my music and uh, yeah, release 12 songs of varying quality um, out to the world uh, and just see what happens really. Uh, but yeah, it's been a learning curve and uh, yeah, I've really, really enjoyed it, especially, you know, getting to grips with the mixing, the mastering and yeah, trying to release it and develop myself as a solo artist for the first time. Can you tell me more, what kind of songs are on the your album? We've got a plethora of things really. I mean, I've heard comparisons of Beck and just kind of in the the reviews I've been getting in terms of you know the different styles that are on the album so it's everything from like hard rock there's a band there's a, um, a song on there called Scab which is like quite Queens of the Stone Age quite in your face quite um, angular and then there's like softer touches like Bourbon Tangerine which is an acoustic just sing a song right there two takes and it was done uh, kind of a fair and then I've also got a bit of uh, like a Radiohead inspiration on a song called Pay My Debt, which is written in 5-4. And um, it's, it's if you listen to it, it's just basically a mashed up Dave Brubeck with uh, Tom York's vocals and just tried to make something sort of new sounding a hook. But yeah, it's real. Um, there's, there's, I hope there's something for everybody on there, but everyone always does when they release an album, don't they? <laughs> Are you writing any more music? Yeah, I'll be writing. Um, I'm always writing all the time. I've got a notebook somewhere. Well, I'm surrounded by them. But um, yeah, I've already started working on the second album. So that's uh, that'll be coming at some point. Um, I've had a, a producer friend reach out to me and wants to uh, take like the lead single and mix that for me, which I'm really excited about. Because this um, album's just been a total solo effort. So it'll be nice to farm some of it out to some people and see what kind of flavour they have and they take and they run with it. That's good to hear. Um, uh, have you got any um, gigs coming up that you want to promote? About, yeah, uh, actually. Your, your album release or in the future? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I've got um, I've got a few gigs lined up in the future, but the most prevalent one is at uh, another Fine Fest, which is a festival in Ulverston, um, which is in Furness uh, in Cumbria. 
and um, we're playing at the Peel Castle on the Seahouse record stage, and that'll be on the 17th of June, the day after the album's released, the 16th of June. So, um, yeah, if you're in the area, definitely come by. It's going to be a great show full of um, Seahouse artists, of which that's my label. And, um, yeah, we've got a wonderful plethora of artists of different genres just to, uh, yeah, really make our mark on the area. It's a good night for local music. Can tell my, uh, my listeners, uh, where can I find you on social media? Um, the best place to find me is probably just my website, which is www.markdoherty.com. Uh, failing that, that has all links to my socials. Um, and it's that's M A R K D O C H E R T Y dot com. And yeah, failing that, I'm on Facebook under Mark Doherty Music, Instagram under Mark Doherty Music, and I think I'm on Twitter. If you find me on either one of those, you can find me on Twitter. I can't remember what my username is. <laughs> I don't go on it that much. Uh, thank you for chatting to me this evening on Johnson Sound. We're going to play um, your current single, taken from the, your debut album, which is released on the 16th of June, Reckless Abandon. So thank you for chatting to me this evening, Mark. Thank you, Ruben. Appreciate it. And I wish you all success in your music career. Thank you. I'll chat to you soon. Yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye.